Hey everybody. I am in my studio tonight working on a big, a bigger painting than what I've been doing lately. And I thought you guys could just join me while I work. Um, I've already got a little bit of my background put down and I'm going to work on that some more. And as you guys are coming on, say hello. You can just keep me company while I'm, I'm working. Um, I've gotten several messages from some of you because you were a little bit disappointed that I was not sending out the Facebook live alerts. And the reason why is because when I did that the other night, I got a little warning from Facebook. So I don't want to mess anything up and have my page taken away or anything like that. So if you want to get emails, I can do emails. If you want to get an email that is an alert that tells you, hey, I'm going to be live in just a few minutes, then I've put a link here. I put a link in the description box for you to sign up for that. So if you want to get an alert through your email, then I feel comfortable doing that, but I, I don't feel comfortable sending them out anymore with my messenger bot. And I know I've kind of been back and forth with that thing over the years, but everything is it's kind of all up in the air. It changes. Facebook will say it's okay to use this, and then sometimes they'll say it's not okay. And so, anyway, I'm just going to go with good trusty emails. <laughs> so if you want to get an email alert before I go live each time, all you have to do is click on the link that's in the description of this video, and it will put you on that list. Even if you're already one of my email subscribers, this is just going to put you in a separate list that I only use when I send out an email alert. So, if you want to do that, then you can, and if not, then that's okay too. So, I'm playing with several different colors. And let me see what you guys are saying. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna keep going. These are eventually going to be some hydrangeas, and I'm trying a little something different, <clears throat> which is part of my my whole painting project that I've got going on. So this one's gonna be. This one will be number 27, I believe. And we did number 26 last night, which was an oil pumpkin. But I'm using acrylics tonight. I hope you guys are all having a good evening. This is all super dark right now, but I have a plan in mind, so no worries there. This is kind of a rough canvas. It's it's an older one that I I just found. I wanted to paint something bigger, and I just found this canvas here in my studio. I don't even remember where I bought it, but it's not the best quality ever. You can hear the it's it's really not smooth at all, but that's okay. It's an inexpensive one, so and I 
did put some gesso down over some of it too. It's still just really rough. But like I said, I'm okay with that. Hey Paula. Hey everybody. Melissa says she likes to watch my videos at night before she goes to bed. My voice is soothing. Well that's sweet. There used to be, I'm not sure if she's still in my group now, but there used to be someone in my creative community who didn't even paint. She just watched the videos and she said that she would turn it on at night before she went to bed and watched the videos and that made her fall asleep. And to begin with, I thought, I'm not sure if I should be happy about that or if that's, is that a compliment or does that mean I'm really boring? I don't know. <laughs> um, Ruth asked, what's it going to be? It's going to be hydrangeas. That's what I have in mind anyway. And, um... Let's see, Christina said, what kind of paint? This is acrylic tonight. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> this is a sweet, like, Bob Ross. Well, that's a good compliment. I'll take that. I've had kind of a crazy day today, but I'll tell y'all. I went to, okay, first of all, I hate going to the dentist. I mean, I really, really hate it. I have like a fear of, of just, just the idea of the dentist. So anyway, I was supposed to go today for my cleaning, and I made myself get in the car, started down the street, and then this little light came on in the car that said, that our tires were low. The air was low in the tires. So I came back home and I called and I was going to reschedule my appointment because I didn't know what to do about the tires. Well, turns out I wasn't even supposed to go to the dentist today in the first place. My appointment is next week. But I rescheduled it too because I don't want to go. So I'm gonna go eventually, just not <laughs> just not this month. I'm gonna go. Then they said, Would you like to to reschedule it for October the twentieth? And I was like, No, that's my birthday. I'm not going to the dentist on my birthday. So I rescheduled it <laughs> for the end of October. But anyway. That was it's crazy, but No, it's not cotton this time, Audrey. <laughs> uh, I'm 
Can be hot dangerous. But that was a good guess. Cotton was a good guess. Okay, let's see. Uh, Bridget doesn't like to go to the dentist either. I don't know why. I just can't. Ugh. I can't stand the thought of it at all. combination of different things here. No, this doesn't look anything like hydrangeas right now. But uh, a lot of you don't like to go to the dentist. <laughs> That's probably something that all of us have in common. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. It's just one of those things you have to do that ugh, don't want to. be one of those that I have to work on more than one night. I'm not sure yet. Thank you. 
some more paint on my palette here. Going through the ugly stage, every pain does that. Goes through uh, very ugly stage, or at least mine do. So we gotta fix it up. So I'm gonna start with. Lighten up the background a good bit. I know somebody's going to ask me about this, but this is the way that I paint. I don't know why or how to explain it other than it's just the way I do it. I put in a background, I change the background. I may put in another background and then change that background. So. See how all that texture is showing up there? That's why I like. That's why I like to do that. And I'm gonna have to come back with some darker colors, especially around my flowers, to make them stand out. But right now, this is the way my brain is working on this one.
I'm going to go back. <laughs> oh, Kelly is sending me gifs. Let's see. I'm going to go back with some, some dark green around some of these edges. Madonna says, I love watching your process, and I don't doubt where you're going with all your layers. <laughs> it took me a minute to figure that out. Uh, yeah, sometimes I don't really know where I'm going with my layers myself, so. It's kind of like my brain knows, but my hands don't really know yet, so. So I don't want to lose any more blue that I got here. So I'm fixing to go in there with some bright white.
Well, I don't think I'm going to put these in a container this time. I think it's just going to be one big flower explosion. <laughs> okay. So let's get some bright white in here. Sometimes I do my hydrangeas with a brush and sometimes I do it with a knife. That one's looking pretty good. tinge of pink in there so let me get some more of that red that I was using. Since I was using those those oils for the past couple of days, oils are much easier to blend. So like if I were to to paint one of these and then come back a few minutes later with my my bright white, then it makes it, it makes it much easier for all the colors to come together. But if you're not used to that, then that can be frustrating. So sometimes it's hard to switch back and forth between mediums. So you have to you kind of have to know how they behave, how they react. And that only comes from practicing and trying it. and knowing where to put what. And sometimes you have to switch it around. If you start doing something and then you don't like it, you can just change it. That's the whole beauty of paint. try to make some stand out a little bit more than others. We'll see. Let's see how that goes. Need some more white. So I told you you had to have that ugly stage, right? So a lot of people get to that point and then they stop because they're frustrated and they need to just keep going a little bit longer to get to a point where it's pretty again. OK, 
Okay, so I got three hydrangeas there. Audrey said, which way will you have the light coming from? It's kind of coming straight on. It's not, um, it's not really one way or the other in this one. Melissa said she's amazed at how I can look at the placement and shapes and colors without looking at the real thing. Well, I've painted a lot, a lot, a lot of flowers. <laughs> so, once you've, you've painted a subject several times, then you can just kind of picture it in your mind a little, a little more than, than you probably could if you've never done that. Like, if I were to try to paint a giraffe right now, no, I don't think I could. I would have to look at some sort of reference. But I've done enough hydrangeas that I, I can kind of see it in my head and have an idea of what it is that I want it to do, which... just comes with practice. Lots and lots of practice. Thank you, Whitney. Those of you who were here in the beginning when I was putting on all those different layers and you were like, why are you doing that? If you can see now, you can see a little bit of those colors. They still show up. going to have to come back and do this, finish this one up in another video, but I think I can do the whole thing this time. Um, let's see. Uh, is that a palette you're using? Yeah, well, it's the lid to my palette. I have, let me show you. I have this. It's a really nice palette, but I've got my oils in the middle, and I've got my watercolors all around the outside and then I put my acrylics in the lid. The lid is supposed to clip on the top of this, but anyway, this is, this is the lid. too crazy with the white there. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, Diana, shouldn't you start out dark and get lighter as you work the layers? Yeah, that's what I did. I'm going to work on my background a little bit more. I'm probably going to take my knife and go around the outside edges. Um, are you leaving texture there where you paint or is it flat? I'm not sure what that means. Is it flat? You have to explain it a little bit more, Rosie. I'm not sure what you're asking me. I'm going to take some white. Some of y'all are probably going to freak out when I start doing this. This is just how I do things. Alright, so this is turning into a really pale green as I'm mixing up. It's going to have a little bit of pink in there.
I'm just experimenting, and if this looks bad, then I can go back over it and I can paint it another color. No big deal. But I think I'm going to like this. So, all this over here, I'm going to go back and fix it. I know that around the leaves looks a little wonky, but just trust me. I know around here I've got to do some work too, so I'll fix it, don't worry. So they're really going to stand out. Much better with this kind of background. But it also leaves some fun texture around the edges of things, which I love. Let's go in here and try to fix some of this a little bit. And people always ask me, why do you do that? Why don't you just start with a color and leave it the color that it's supposed to be when you began? But you would not get all the different textures and colors and all this dimension comes in from from all the layers so yeah it's more work but it's worth it or at least it is to me all right 
Now, let's do some more green. And my green's getting low, actually. I need to buy some more paint. When you paint on a bigger scale, then you need more paint, of course. Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, Rosie said, are you putting the paint on thick? It's not super thick. Um, it's, it's spread on pretty well, but it's not really thick. So let's do... Let's get the palette knife back out. Stand back and look at it this way. It's hard for me to see, so I'm going to look at it through my my camera and decide. I think I think I need some more pink over here. Right, and use it over here. Pink 
part's not really the star of the show, so I don't want to overdo it with that, but I just wanted a little something extra. Katrina says, does the size of the canvas determine whether you use the easel or lay it flat? Yes, for me it does. A lot of people use an easel even if they're painting something really small, but for me it's more helpful. Um, when I'm using my knife, it's easier to use a knife on a flat surface for me, but um, it would not be so easy to paint something like this and try to get it closer so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, something this big is harder for me to paint on my table because I don't have enough room. But yeah, that's basically the difference in when I would use my easel or when I would use my table. Tables for smaller pieces and the easel is for larger pieces. But this was lots of fun. Thank y'all for joining me and for watching. And like I said, I'm not using the Messenger bot anymore. So if you want to be alerted when I'm going to be live, I've put a link in our description here in this video. And you can just click on it. It's going to take you to um, an email sign-up list that I'm going to I'm going to keep those emails just for Facebook Live alerts. So. You won't get other kinds of emails from, from signing up with that. Um, oh, I've got paint all over me. Uh, what size is this painting? Good question. Let me see. It is probably 24. I don't know. I'm going to measure it. I'm not good with numbers. Yeah, 24. By 18 is the size of this one. Thank you, Audrey. So, you guys, make sure that you're signed up for the email alerts if you want to be alerted next time. I do a live video, and I know most of you are already signed up for my workshop that begins on Monday, and if not, then hurry over and do that before the sign up time is over and I'm going to give you the link for that too just in case we're going to be learning how to paint um, several different flowers so we'll do one flower per day and then on Friday we're going to put them all together and make a bouquet so I know I look crazy right now but I'm trying to find the link here's that link if you want to to join it's called the beautiful bouquet challenge and we're going to do uh, hydrangeas roses lilies and filler and we're then we're going to put them all together in one container and we'll do that monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday of next week so it's just a ten dollar fee it's a workshop that lasts five days and i'll be live with you giving you step-by-step -step instruction on each one of those flowers if you want to join then it's going to be lots of fun. But I left the, the link for that here too, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.